Today I want to give a, a quick tip in under five minutes and maybe you've seen and maybe you've used uh, PBW for cleaning and it's a great cleaner but it's kind of expensive so I was wondering if there was a alternative so I did some research out in the internets, interwebs, uh, YouTube, homebrew talk, various other homebrewing blog sites and I found that you could make PBW with little or, or at least a, a lot less investment. So I did some research on how to come up with a an alternative to PW, PBW because PBW is around eight dollars a pound and I wanted to find out if I could find something that worked as well uh, that didn't cost quite that much money. So I found out on the internet, found out from uh, various discussions on various websites and blogs, I found out I could make my own PBW and this is how you do it. You get yourself some OxyClean and this container here that I have uh, I bought at Target and I got it on sale for I think around four dollars and then you pick up some TSP from Ace Hardware now this is a little spendy this is I believe around $9.99 for this container it's 62 ounces which works out to be about 3.875 pounds this is this is three pounds so based on my investment of uh, these two products I came up with about two dollars and fifteen cents per pound versus eight pounds uh, or eight dollars per pound of PBW and I've been using it in my brewery cleaning my pots cleaning my carboys and it does a tremendous job um, it is a little caustic uh, to your skin so I recommend you use uh, some gloves uh, gloves when you're rubber gloves when you're scrubbing out your pots um, if you're not very sensitive then you know I would uh, you know not worry about it but I, I generally try to use uh, gloves if they're handy and you want to make sure you get uh, a lot of things labeled uh, TSP are actually uh, there is uh, no phosphate in it uh, this is a um, this is called TSP, but it's free of TSP, which is kind of crazy. And there isn't any phosphate in there. The, the active ingredient in PBW is sodium metasilicate. And I'll put this down in the notes so you have it. And, and it's a great alternative uh, with a little bit of OxyClean and the, a little bit of the uh, TSP. Now, the ratios I'm using, I'm using one part OxyClean, one part OxyClean to two parts of the TSP and that seems to work really well for me. So I hope this is a helpful tip for you and uh, cheers.